Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus. I am so glad today that I got this opportunity to talk to you through this channel. I am just going to start this with a question. I am going to ask you who you are. The moment when we hear this question, we try to answer it through the thoughts which we have received from different places. First, the family, the thought which is given to us. The name which they have given to you. Immediately when they ask this question, you are tempted to say your name. Because this is what the thought comes up. Or by the identities that your surrounding has given to you, your neighborhood. Some of might they have given you a good identification or some they might have said worst thing about you. So immediately when somebody asks who you are, these thoughts come to our mind. And we are tempted to look ourselves in the same way. But today I want to tell you the reality who you are. I want to tell you, you are born and you are created to rule. You are not an ordinary person. You are not the way the way world is talking about to you. Because you are created to rule, to have dominion. I am just going to share this word to you. Genesis chapter 1. Very wonderfully the word of God says like this. God had a thought to create you. God had a thought to make you. For what? To have dominion. That's what the word of God says over here. You know, when we read from Genesis chapter 1, it's very wonderfully, when God thought about creating all the world, very beautifully, you now very wonderfully made everything. For whom? So that you and I will have dominion over this. I'm reading it from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping things that creeps on the earth. This is what your reality is. God created you to have dominion, to have authority. You are not an ordinary person. God made everything, what beautifully we see, the amazing things and things which is beyond our control, everything what you see is created for you to have dominion over this. That's what the word of God says. Let us not be deceived by the thoughts of the world or from your family, but know it very sure. You are created by God and you are created to have dominion. And I pray in the name of Jesus, that the, all the deception of the evil one from your life to go away today and this word will bring light into you so that your every inferiority complex will vanish and disappear knowing that God has created you to have dominion. God bless you. Thank you.